Hello, my name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you love card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing an effect that I first read about in Royal Road to Card Magic. It was always done with a selected card. When I was about 18 years old, I figured out a way where you could do it without a selected card, just any name card in the deck, and you could launch right into the trick. Showed it to Ed Marlowe, showed it to Di Vernon. Di Vernon told me at the time, he said he never once ever saw this principle used before. And so over the years, I came up with uh, several other methods, and I put a few of them in my last book called Card Theater. This one has the advantage it can be done with a borrowed shuffle deck. Let's take a look. So even, you've seen magicians work and mind readers work and they write down a prediction and then they go through a bunch of stuff and something happens and they look at the prediction and they're correct. Mm -hmm. Makes for an amazing little piece. Well, I thought it would be fun if you do it backwards. Huh. So I'm going to let you make the prediction. So right. I guess some business cards here. Just grab one of my business cards. Anyone. Doesn't matter. Now, what I want you to do. Yeah, they're just all blank. They're just all blank there. Uh, I'm going to turn my head. I don't want anybody to see what you're writing. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to have you think of a card. We're going to use a deck of cards. And you're going to predict a card. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, make it easy on yourself. Mm -hmm. Just do two letters. So, if you think of the nine of hearts, you're going to write the Capital nine, H. a big nine, and a capital H. All right. And if it was Queen of Clubs, you'd go capital Q and a C. Yeah. So it just takes two digits, two characters, and we got the name of a card. Yeah. So I want you to write the name of a card. I'm turning my head. All Don't right. let anybody see right. what it is. All right. All right. Just keep that to yourself. I want you to be the only one to know what your prediction is. Right. Set the card see face here. down on the table when you're done. Have you done that? Uh, let's see here. Let me think of what I want to do here. Um, Any card of the 52. I got it. Okay, so set it so it's face down so I can turn my head. I'm not going to get it's face get down. Same. All right, you know what I'd like you to do? Go ahead and put your initials right there on the top of that card, the right. face of the card. All right, great. Close up the pen. We're done with our prediction. I want you to put your prediction in the middle of these cards. Right. And just stick it in there somewhere. All right, right there. And you can see your prediction there, right? Okay, we're going to lose it down in the pack. So it's buried in there, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so you've got your card lost in the deck. Or prediction in those business cards. Would you shuffle up that deck of cards? Yep. Just mix it up right here. I'm gonna go ahead, so right there. Get them good and mixed. Okay. Now, what I don't need here in this deck is the, uh, the, the Joker. The Joker, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get out that particular card. Couldn't find it here. Ah, there it is. There's our uh, Joker in the deck. We don't need this guy. All right, so you've shuffled up the cards, right? Uh, you just wrote down any prediction, and uh, I got rid of the Joker. This Joker is going to make you lucky, even. That's this the luck card. Great. Yeah, now let me show you how that That's works. That's exactly what I want. All right, I'm going to go ahead and divvy the deck up in about two equal size packets. I'm going to let you pick the packet. That's where I'm going to put the Joker. Now, the Joker, what it's going to do, we're going to have two players, one to the Joker and one's going to represent you. We're always going to deal to the Joker. The Joker is going to represent the discards. Okay? So you got the idea? So you put you pick this pack, we put the joker there, these we'll get rid of. Now, you get to choose though. The joker doesn't have to be here, it can go over here. So you want it over the left or the right. And I'm always going to deal to the joker, that's always going to be the discards. Go for it. Uh, here's so you want it to there yeah. or you want it here? Here. Right there. Okay, and then I'm just going to divvy the deck into two equal size packets. 
one hand to the joker, the other hand's going to be for you. All right. Now, all kinds of crazy terms come from dealing cards these days, like all in. comes from Texas Hold'em. It's now a name of a cable news show every night. All right. We're going to get rid of these. That's where the joker was. Now, you can go ahead and place that joker to my right or to my left again. To my right. We'll deal with the joker. Those are the two cards. One hand for you, one hand for the joker. And the joker is always the discards. Another famous term is poker face. That's an expression now. It means nobody has a, the, any expression. We get rid of this pack. All right. You get to pick right, right or left for the discards. All right. Right there. Another famous term. Okay. Play the cards you dealt. It means live with what you got. Right? Get rid of that. Got one more to go, right or left? Right there, so we deal there. Okay, so we get rid of these and I'm left with one card. With all that, you just thought of a card. Let's take a peek at what your prediction is. That's so for impossible. first time, let's say there it is, right there with your initials on it. Yep. And you wrote down the 10 of diamonds. Check that out, 10 what of diamonds. What the heck? What the hell? Makes you lucky. Man. That was a good call. I don't even see how you got that set up. So, hey, if you like the routine, give it a thumbs up. If you love card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, I first published uh, my first method back in 1969 in a little book I wrote called Magic Mafia Effects. I gave this to Magic Inc. to publish right when I graduated from Elmhurst College, which would have been December of 69. And three days after I graduated, hey, I got drafted. And so I zoomed over, joined the Air Force. And so on the January 3rd, I'm on a bus ride down to Lackland, Texas for basic training. And then I was there for oh, almost five months as I was in casual for a while waiting for my orders and it turned out Vernon gave the book a good review and they were all sold out by the time I got out of basic training. But I called my original team the program deck and it was based of course our the starting point was the tantalizer from Royal Road to Card Magic. But I had any card named and you could do the routine. So when I got out of the service in 73 I zoomed over to UNLV and I signed up to get a degree in mathematics and computer science. Back then the computer science department was part of the math department. They didn't have their own department and that turned out the thing I had discovered was called a binary search which allowed you to quickly home in on any one of the 52 locations. So over the years I came up with several other ideas with the tantalizer trick and I put them in my 2019 notes. I called it the thought algorithm should have been thought algorithms because I think I got three different uh, methods in there to make the trick happen. This one has the advantage of that can be done with a borrowed shuffle deck. So if you like their material here on the channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button right over there. And if you love a card magic with just any name card, I might want to check out one of my favorite routines called the A&D Sandwich with the A&D Follow-Up by clicking that link right there. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to see you the next time.